All right, in this example, we are asked to resolve the force shown below, this four pound force, into a force and a couple about point A. Uh, so we need to move this force from here over to here, and we need to find the statically equivalent version of uh, my original force. So <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do is kind of redraw this out. So I've got point A over here. I've got a beam acting on this beam. I've got my four pound force. And I know that the distance is uh, going to be six feet. All right, so the first step in doing this kind of conceptually is to think about adding a four pound force over here. So I add that force. And I'm going to add an equal and opposite force at the same point. So I've got four pounds down, and then four pounds up like that. So now I've got three forces. Uh, when I added these two, since they're equal and opposite, I essentially added zero to my equation. Uh, so now I can think about two things. Uh, first of all, I'm going to think about the couple uh, that's exerted by this. So I've got a four pound force there, an equal, and oppos equal opposite, and um, parallel force. Uh, over there, it's not collinear. Uh, so this is a couple. And the moment exerted by that couple is going to be equal to the magnitude of the force, four pounds, times the perpendicular distance. In this case, it's going to be six feet. Uh, and this whole thing, it's going to be positive moment, we use my right hand rule to kind of deduce the direction. So the moment of the couple is going to be 24 foot pounds. All right, so with that I'm going to replace the forces on here since there's no net force. I'm going to redraw this as just a straight up couple, a straight up moment. So I take that out, I take that out, and I replace it with a couple. So the moment of that couple is 24 foot-pounds. I know it's positive, so it's going in this direction. And what I'm left with is a single force, a four-pound force, and a 24 foot-pound moment uh, all about point A, which is the point I'm looking to do this uh, resolution about. So with that, I've taken the force, I've moved it over to point A, found the equivalent force and moment of that, uh, and I've solved my problem. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.